everyone, this is Judy with JLB Crafts. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, thank you so much for giving me a try. Today I'm going to be adding a Christmas cookie recipe. Um, whether you call them snowballs or Russian tea cakes or Mexican wedding cookies, um, this is what we're going to add, the keto version. They are so yummy, so, so good, and so easy. Um, this is my recipe planner. I've done a flip through of this and I will link that in the cards up above. And I think I had mentioned at some point that my dessert section was super, super, super um, thick compared to the rest of the sections. And part of the reason for that is when you're keto, no flour, no sugar, basically no carbs. So the desserts are the hardest things. You can't trust any dessert you get anywhere. So I have a lot of dessert recipes, even though I don't have particularly a sweet tooth. So I finally, um, this is one of the more recent Happy Planner recipe planners, and I thought this would make a perfect dessert only recipe planner. So I grabbed some of my pre-keto dessert books and looked through the sections and decided on eight different um, dessert sections. And then I got my label maker out and I started labeling. So I have brownies and blondies, cookies and bars, bar cookies, regular cookies, um, cheesecake bars, whatever that may be. In my head, it makes sense. Cakes and frostings, um, pies and pastries, sauces and puddings. So I was thinking creme anglaise, fruit flavored coulis, um, custards, curds, anything along those lines, caramel sauce, anything like that. Um, ice creams and frozen. So this is going to be, if you're familiar with the keto world, you know what fat bombs are. And I tried for a long time to try fat bomb recipes that could be stable at room temperature and they're just not. So this is going to be sherbets, sorbets, fat bombs, ice creams, those kinds of things. And then I've got candies and fudges. Um, any kind of candies, brittles, pralines, um, anything like that can go in here. And then I have a miscellaneous section, so specialty things like creme brulees, souffles, um, things like that that you could force into one of these others, but I would first check miscellaneous for, just in my head. Um, so I took out the entire dessert section from this recipe planner, and I spread it out into the appropriate places in this recipe book. So now this is nothing but desserts, and I kept all the blank pages in here so that I can keep adding. Um, and then in here, I changed that um, dessert section to say drinks. Um, so like old fashioned eggnog, wicked hot chocolate, and I've started to accumulate a few mixed drink recipes. I was, fun fact, I was a bartender in college um, for a couple years of college. So I have a lot of drink recipes and there are some keto ways to make um, uh, sugary drinks without sugar. So um, we'll see what happens. I might end up changing that. But but anyway, let's go ahead and get started with this recipe. Um, I'm definitely, it's obviously going to go in the cookies section. Um, I, I have space for a recipe here, but I kind of think I want to put, so a, a tip for your recipe planner. Um, put like recipes on opposite sides so that if you get to a point where you have as many recipes as I do and you want to divide up your planner, if you have a Christmas cookie on one side and a Christmas cookie on the other side, it's easy to move that page into a new section. If you've got um, traditional lasagna on one side, put like a white seafood lasagna on the other side so that that page can move when you move when you have to expand on your recipe book. Okay, so um, for this recipe, I'm just gonna call these snowball cookies. And since this happens to be a green page and that just happened to be the page color um, that was in that section, I actually am gonna go ahead. So these aren't specifically Christmas cookies, but when I give or receive or go to a cookie exchange, these are always, always included. So in my mind, I would definitely think to look um, look at these as Christmas cookies. So we're just going to run with that and have fun. So I'm going to just go ahead and put, so the other thing is I, sometimes I write keto, sometimes I don't. Um, every recipe in my recipe books, both of them are keto. So if you ever watch a flip through, just keep in mind that these are keto, whether they say they are or not. So I'm using, um, an erasable, 
friction marker. Um, and I will link these in the description box. I actually got mine in Japan when I was traveling and working there. That's where I fell in love with frictions and first discovered them. But um, you can get them on Amazon as well. So I will try to remember to um, link that in the description box below. All right, easy peasy. Okay. So um, I pulled a bunch of winter and Christmas sticker books for this. Um, this. This is such a simple recipe. It has one, two, three, four, five, six ingredients um, and like four steps. It's so easy. So I thought we would have some fun. When I have short recipes like this, I like to have fun with special boxes. Um, and if you've watched any of my recipe plans with me before, I like to um, put my preheat instructions in a box at the very top because as someone who bakes relatively regularly, um, that's always something you're going to look for right away is what is the preheat temperature. So I'm just grabbing this little header box um, from the winter, the most recent winter book. Um, and I always put my preheat instructions right at the very top. This is another friction pen. This is just a gel style ballpoint, um, 0.7. So preheat oven to 350. Okay. So the next thing I want to do I'll put this off to the side is do my ingredients now like I said it's only got six ingredients there's a lot of space here um, but that's okay I think I want to go ahead and use a um, one of the fun things about the classic size books and the classic size recipe planner is these match these match up with the spacing so I thought I would go ahead and use um, one of these there are only two red there, this is more of an aqua green. It's probably kind of hard to see on camera. Um, but the green is, is, is the only green. So I think I'll go ahead. No, you know what? I'm going to go with the red and just stick with the red theme. But actually, I'm pretty sure there are other ones in here. Here we go. Let me just make sure that the alignment matches on these as well. I think it does. So I'm going to take this one. One, two, three, four. Oh, shoot. That one only has five. These, I think, had six. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Nope. That one only has five as well. I thought these had six for some reason. I must have been looking at a different book. That's okay. We will... Um, do I have more than one red? Okay, change of plans. Um, I'm not gonna use one of those because it's not worth it to me to cut and put two together just for one extra dot. So somewhere in one of these, um, there we go, these. Let's use these. You don't have to do this, I just, I kinda like to, I think it's fun. So we'll put six of these on there. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and write in my ingredients next. actually forgot um, I need one more dot because I need to call out the powdered sugar for rolling rolling the um, cookies in and I think I want to use one I was gonna use one of these hearts um, since this is a little bit different I'll put it like that so it looks a little different okay all right next I like to put in um, information like such as this so this makes 24 cookies like we're all gonna only eat one um, prep time is about 15 minutes and I did switch back to my marker pen cook time is also about 15 minutes 
And actually, I need to change this to be 45 minutes because there's a step where you freeze the cookies for half an hour, so. And then since this is a keto recipe, I like to include the net carbs. Um, and this is a new recipe page for me. Normally I write it right here, but they moved this, it used to be here and I would just squeeze it in the side. So now that this is moved, I don't really wanna put it over here. Although I could just put it right there. Um, I'm debating. This is the first time I've used this slightly changed recipe sheet. I guess it makes sense to put it with the serving size so that you can see um, if you're gonna eat two instead of one. Um, what the carb price is that you're going to have to pay. So this one is one net carb. Okay, so next I want to write in this direction steps. And for that, I thought I would use, I think it was in, was it in this book? Since there aren't very many steps, it's not a very complex recipe. Um, I wanted to do where are they? There we go. I wanted to use these. So, we are going to put these on the page. Straight. All right, let me line this up so I can make sure I get it straight. Step one, like I said, this was super easy. Just dump everything to a food processor and pulse it until um, a dough starts to form. Roll into 24 balls and space them out on a cookie sheet. Okay, um, slight change of plans. I'm gonna find a circle sticker and put serves 24 over here where it would normally be because I really wanna keep going with this theme and I can place this sticker so that it covers that up. Third step, freeze the dough balls on the cookie sheet for 30 minutes, that way they don't spread as much when they're baking. Okay, and then last one. Finally, pull them out of the freezer, put them in your preheated oven and bake them for 15 minutes and then roll them, roll them in your powdered sweetener. All right, so I like to draw these little circles, these little curly cues. I think that's a fun little touch. There we go. All right, I need to find a circle for my 24. And let me pull, I think um, there are circles about that size in this Colorful Shapes book. And I know there's a red section in here. There we go. So I can make one of these work, or I could use green since it would be normally green on this page. There's a mint green one. I could also use a hexagon. Um, I just want something that's gonna kind of flow with the color scheme. I think I'll use one of these mint ones because these are kind of, it might be hard to tell on camera, but these are kind of aqua colored. So let's go ahead and use a mint one. I'm just gonna put it right here where I would normally expect to see it. Um, and so it says serves and then a space people. So I'm just gonna write, I'm gonna skip the word people and just put serves and put my 24 here. And then I will go ahead and add my one net carb where I normally would. Okay, and that is basically it. Dump everything in the food processor, roll it into 24 balls, freeze it, bake it, roll it in powdered sugar, and in devour. Um, so I wanna go ahead and just do a little decoration. Um, and I love this Christmas book. It's got an entire page about cookies. Um, here we go. So I wanted to see if I could squeeze a couple of these stickers in, baked with love. Christmas cookie exchange. These are a little big, let me grab my mini copy. Um, because these stickers ended up taking up a little more space than I had planned. 
but I know this book also has a page, a cookie page in it somewhere. At least I thought it did. I thought it had the same page. There we go. There we go. Baked with love. I definitely want to, I think I want to go ahead and white out notes. So really the only note I could potentially add to this recipe is that you can, you can use different kinds of um, nuts, whatever kind of nut you want. You could use pistachios, hazelnuts, macadamia nuts, whatever you want. Um, but that's kind of implied since I put walnuts slash pecans. There are multiple versions of this recipe out in the world. Sometimes they have walnuts, sometimes they have pecans. Um, the ones in my picture actually have walnuts, but um, I was just trying to change it up. I had made pecan cookies the batch before, so, so I want to put this down here, I think, baked with love, to kind of mask that white out just a little bit. You can kind of see where I erased one net carb just a little bit. There we go. I want to see if Christmas Cookie Exchange, because I first found out about these through a Christmas cookie exchange and instantly fell in love. So I always kind of think about Christmas cookie exchanges when I think about this recipe. There we go, love that. Um, we gotta have a yum on there. That'll fit right there. And then just one more little something for right here, I think. Treats, because I've got red, red, let's, and I already have cookie exchange, so I don't want that one. So let's put treats on there. There we go. Perfect. I love it. That is it. That is done. Let's put it in my new dessert recipe book. And I will see if I can come up with another recipe um, to put on the back side for next week. So there we go. Snowball cookies, keto snowball cookies. I hope you like this video. I hope it gives you some great ideas and gets you excited to do some of your own recipe planning. If it does, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you.